My name is Rushiana Bas. I have been living in the United States since 1989. For past 31 years, I have been advocating for Uyghur people's human rights under the uh, constitutional rights I have as an American citizen. I talked at one of the think tanks in Washington, D.C. on September 5, 2018. Six days later, my sister and my aunt were abducted as a retaliation for my activism in America as an American citizen. I was talking about the conditions of the camps and the, the faith of my in-laws. Right now, we have around three million innocent people are in the concentration camps, only because they are Muslims, only because they are Uyghurs. Being Uyghur is not a crime status. Being Muslim is not a criminal case, criminal status. Yet, the Chinese government is waging war on Islam. They are putting these people in the concentration camps, telling the world that these people are radicalized. That's why they are in the camps, because Chinese government is worried for their national security. But people rejecting eating pork, or rejecting drinking alcohol, or just praying five times a day, or saying salam alaikum for each other, which is the most peaceful way of greeting each other, means peace be with you. Or praying five times a day, or fasting during Ramadan. What do they have anything to do with China's national security issue? Right now, the Chinese government is deploying 1.1 million Han Chinese to Uyghur homes to live in their houses. Basically, what's happening today is government-sponsored mass rape on Uyghur, people, Uyghur women. The Uyghur girls are forced to marry Han Chinese, and they cannot reject in fear of repercussions. Basically, it's the government-sponsored the mass rape of the Uyghur women in the shame, in the, in the sham of marriage. Uyghur kids are taken to um, government-run orphanages. Over 500,000 Uyghur children are sent to government-run orphanages where they are being raised as Han Chinese, forsaking their Uyghur Turkic identity, forsaking their religion, and uh, being raised with communist ideologies.